Welcome to 30 Days of Photoshop. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to change the color of anything in Photoshop. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun and welcome to our 30 Days of Photoshop series. We've got such a helpful tutorial today. We're gonna to show you how to change the color of literally anything in Photoshop. All you need is a hue saturation adjustment layer and a little bit of imagination. And you're good to go. Let's go ahead and open up our sample image. We've got changecolor.jpg here. Nice little Volkswagen. You can go ahead and download this on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. So what we're gonna do is grab our hue saturation adjustment layer. This is the real key to changing colors. So we're gonna go to layer, down to new adjustment layer and over to hue slash saturation. There we go, we'll hit okay. And now, when, when you have just this tool, let's go ahead and click and drag this out so we can just take a look at what we've actually got going on here. By default, this little guy up here at the top is set to master. And what that means is it's gonna start to affect all of the colors in your image, okay? So you can see as I take this slider and move it around, it's affecting every single color in my photograph. And sometimes that's cool, but more often than not, you want like specific colors to be edited. So you can change that. Let's just click on this reset icon here. And here where it says master, well, in this case, I wanna reset this color here. So it's pretty similar to yellow. I'm gonna click on my yellows. Now, don't worry if it doesn't say the exact color that you're thinking of, because you can use this eyedropper tool to refine the color a little bit more. So let's go ahead and click on our eyedropper tool and click here on, boop, on our Volkswagen. Now. When I go ahead and click there, check out what happens to this slider here. I'm gonna just click on blue and you can see what happens there. So when I clicked on blue, you can see it automatically shifted to this blue range. When I click back on yellow, it automatically shifts to the yellow range. So using this eyedropper, it's gonna to shift to wherever you're actually, you know, to the color you want to edit. So how this slider works is you have two little hue bars. The bar on the top tells you what hue you're actually going to be affecting and the bar on the bottom tells you what it's gonna turn into. So I'm just gonna crank my hue, there we go, all the way to blue, and check this out. So it's saying this color range is being converted into that color range, and we can see it in our image. Yes, it is being converted into that color range. Pretty cool. I can go ahead and click here and drag this to the left, and yep, in fact, it is being converted to these color ranges. Now, you can go ahead and just click right here in the middle and move this around, and it's gonna to start to affect different areas of your photos. For instance, if I go over here, you're gonna see it's gonna to start to affect the blues, okay? If I go back over here, it's, it's just a loop, right? It's like blue over here, blue over here, red in the middle. So I can move this around my image and it's gonna affect different areas of my photograph, okay? And even with this like Volkswagen here, even though it is primarily yellow, like if I go over here, you can see it's starting to affect like these colors, just turn this off and on, okay? A little bit more. And then if I continue on to the right, it's gonna start affecting these other colors a little bit more and saving those highlights. So it really is about like finding the range of color where that you actually wanna edit. Now, if you want to, you can actually take these little sliders here and squeeze them a little bit smaller and this is gonna affect less color in your image, like a less, a smaller color range. So for instance, if you're like only this small, small color range, that's what I wanna affect. It's really nice. And that can be nice if someone has like my color skin and they're maybe wearing an orange shirt. You don't wanna affect both at the same time. So you can really hone that in and say, just affect the shirt and then change the color. Super easy to do. Well, let's go ahead and hit the reset icon. We're just resetting all the way. We're gonna to go to our yellows. Okay, eyedropper tool, go ahead and sample. And here, all I have to do is start changing my hue and we're good to go. Isn't this so easy and fun? Super cool. Now, of course, you can change your saturation. Look, I've got a gray Volkswagen or you can go really bright with it, which tend to looks, tends to look a bit weird. Uh, there we go. And you can also adjust your lightness. So it's gonna make, ooh, that's kind of nice, right? It's like a, ooh, let's make it like seafoam green. Mmm. Let's just say you did this and you're like, cool, but maybe it affected some colors that you didn't want to. Like here in the ground, it affected a couple colors. Okay, it just made some of those colors green. Um, 
which is actually okay because I think some of this orange is being reflected from the orange color there. But let's see, it also uh, changed some color of those palm trees back there. We really don't want that. So what do you do here? Well, you just click on your layer mask and you hit your, you know, grab your brush tool and you just paint black on your layer mask, like where you don't want this change to happen. So it looked like it changed a little bit on the mountains back there too. Okay, so if it does pick up anything else, uh, go ahead and change that out. But there we go, like on that license plate, it, you know, the, the tail light got changed in color a little bit. But other than that, boom, we are done. And that's how we change the color of anything in Photoshop. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying 30 days of Photoshop. If you haven't already done so, be sure to sign up. It's totally free and you can do so right down below. Thanks again. I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.